Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing sequence and series and this is the lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. This is a continuation of uh, questions which we have started uh, in last lecture. And we have solved some questions. The rest of them I am going to solve here. This is exercise number exercise 9.2 and starting from question number 8. We have question number 8 as if the sum of if the sum of arithmetic progression this is question number 9 in fact first eight question has been discussed in the last class if the sum of first n terms n terms of two arithmetic progression to arithmetic progression arithmetic progression r in ratio r in ratio 5n plus 4 is to 9n plus 6 find the ratio of the arithmetic term find the ratio of the arithmetic term the ratio of the arithmetic term there 18th term, right? This is a question. So, how to deal with this question? Here, two APs are given. So, we can consider the solutions like starting from let A1 and A2 be the first term of two AP, first terms of two APs, right? And B1 and B2 are their respective common difference, their respective common respectively respective common difference common difference each. B1 and B2 are both are not similar in something like this right so here we have to find 18th term ratio of their 18th term so therefore 18th term of first ap of first ap to the 18th term of second ap that we have to calculate second AP. so 18th term of first ap is a plus 17 d one and that will be a2 plus 17 d2 n minus 1 into d you know this is equation first and that we have to calculate what is given here the sum of it is given that given that sum of first n terms first n terms of first ap to the sum of first n terms first n terms of second AP second AP that is given 5n plus 4 9n plus 6 this is what given 5n plus 4 and 9n plus 6 proceeding this one what will have if you proceed this n by 2 2a1 plus n minus 1 into d1 and that will be n by 2 sum of n term 2a2 n minus 1 and common difference of second AP is d2 that is 5n plus 4 upon 9n plus 6 so this n by 2 this n by 2 is cancels now if you divide, divide by 2 then what will happen divide numerator and denominator by 2. So a1 plus n minus 1 by 2 d1 upon a2 plus n minus 1 by 2 d2 is equal to 5n plus 4 divided by 9n plus 6. Now what we need? We need that a1 plus 17 d1. Try to understand this. a1 plus 17 d1. So if I put n1 minus 1 by 2 is 17 then what will happen put n minus 1 is equal to put n minus 
1 by 2 is equal to 17 that is n is equal to 35 right so put n is equal to 35 both the sides n is equal to 35 both the sides we have sides you will have a1 plus 17 d1 and a2 plus 17 d2 so what will happen 5 into 35 plus 4 and 9 into 35 plus 6 that will be 35 5 to 170 5 uh, 5 3 to 15 and 17 179 upon 321 so this is the required ratio answer 179 is to 321 that will be answer this is the ratio of the 18th term so i hope you got it now question number 10 question number 10 is given that uh, if the sum of first p terms of an AP is equal to sum of first q terms, if the sum of first p terms of an AP, first p terms of an AP is equal to sum of first q terms, first q terms, q terms. First p terms of an AP is equal to sum of first q terms. Then find the sum of first p plus q terms. Then find the sum of. Then find the sum of. Then find the sum of. Find the sum of first p plus q terms. Now the solutions can be written here. The solution is like SP sum of first P term is Q. So before writing this, it will be better that right here. Let A be the first term, A be the first term, and B be the common difference. D be the common difference. Common right so given that sum of first p terms is q sp is equal to q it is given here sum of first p terms of an ap is equal to q and uh, sum of first q terms sp is equal to sq it is given here s p is equal to sum of q terms this imply p by 2 2 a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to q by 2 2 a plus q minus 1 into d isn't it so now this will come here that uh, 2 a p plus p into p minus 1 into d by 2 is equal to a q plus q into q minus 1 into d by 2. So if I subtract this 2, here what will come? This will be not 2 a p, 2 2 cancel, so only a p is left here. Remember, this will be multiply by p by 2 now, so this will be 2 2 cancel, so only a p is left. So a p minus a q. A P minus A Q. A Q will come this side. This will be Q into Q minus 1 by 2 minus P into P minus 1 by 2 into D. Or you can write, take 2 common also and write here D by 2. So what will come? In fact, this will be D by 2. So this employee A P minus Q. And here this will be q a square and that will be p a square. So q a square minus p a square minus minus plus p minus q. And q we can write here that q a square minus p a square and minus q plus p. So minus q plus p. So that will be minus q minus p. Isn't it? 
we can write it minus b into d by t because b minus minus plus so we can write it now we can take q minus p common and if i would take p minus q common then what will happen p minus q here q minus p if i take common then that will be uh, here q plus p is left and there will be minus 1 into d by 2 i hope you got it so it will be like that now if i cancel them then this will cancel by minus 1 times. So a is equal to this is looks like q not q. This is basically a a a okay. So a is minus q minus plus p minus 1 into d by 2. That can be written as this can be written as 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d is equal to 0 right now. Now sum of therefore the sum of sum of p plus q terms na? sum of find the sum of p plus q terms sum of first p plus q terms is given by s p plus q is equal to p plus q by 2 into 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d right because this one complete one is 0 and therefore the sum is p plus q by 2 into 0 is equal to 0 that will be answer of this question i hope you got it right now so these are few questions which we had discussed and you understood uh, i think all of them and uh, now there is a question that is question number 11 it is given that the sum of first P, Q, R, Q and R terms of an AP are A, B, C respectively are A, B, C respectively then prove that A by P into Q minus R plus b by q into r minus p plus c by r into p minus q is equal to 0. This is very popular question, right? So you can use it as an important one and uh, that will be very, very important for a school examination. Solution is, let uh, a be the, x be the first term and y be the common ratio. Let x be the first term why not i have taken a because a is already in each x be the first term and r be the common ratio and y be the common ratio common difference sorry common difference of an ap right now. so here sum of first p terms is a this employee p by 2 2x plus p minus 1 into d, d is y and that is a. So can I write like this, uh, a by p is equal to, therefore a by p, if p will divide this side and 2 will multiply this side then this will be x plus p minus 1 into y by 2, right. Also, similarly, also s q is equal to b and sum of first q terms is b so q by 2 2x plus q minus 1 into y is equal to b and therefore b by q is equal to x plus q minus 1 into y by 2 this is second equation right we can do that there is no problem and similarly s r is equal to similarly s r is equal to c this employee c by r is equal to x plus r minus 1 into y by 2 now putting all these lhs 
so multiply by a by q into q minus r right now a by q into q minus r v minus r now question is here we can write now from question since a by p into q minus r plus b by q into r minus p plus c by r into p minus q this is lhs lhs of the given one and we can put the value of a by p a by p is what x plus p minus 1 see here x plus p minus 1 into y by 2 x plus p minus 1 into y by 2 p minus 1 into y by 2 into q minus r right we can make that x plus x plus p minus 1 into y by 2 q minus r here this b by q is x plus q minus 1 into y by 2 into r minus p and here c by r is x plus r minus 1 into y by 2 into p minus q and that will be here x times of q minus x times of r minus p and x times p minus q will come so here we can take x common and uh, this would be q minus r plus x times of r minus p here x times of p minus q we can take it and we can write it i hope you got it okay now next here q minus r into p minus 1 into y by 2 here q minus 1 into r minus p into y by 2 so y by 2 can be taken common and that will be p minus 1 into q minus r from here here q minus 1 into r minus p from there here r minus 1 into p minus q from there and that will come now what is left uh, you can have like see this is q is negative positive and q is negative p is positive and p is negative r is positive r is negative so that is x into 0 plus y by 2 into what will come this will be pq pq positive and from here pq is negative here uh, r is positive right now if you multiply this r is positive and if you multiply this two r will be negative each term is positive once time and negative one time. Here P K R is positive and here P R is negative. If you multiply this P, then R P R is negative. So each term is positive once. Here Q P is negative and there um, P Q is positive. So everywhere uh, one term is positive and one term is negative. You will be able to get it here. So that all will be cancels here. You can do that. Let me write here. You can do it directly. PQ minus PR plus R minus Q plus here. PR minus PQ minus R plus P plus here. RP minus QR minus P plus Q and all are vanished. PQ is positive, here PQ is negative, PR is negative, PR is positive, here R is positive, R is negative, Q is positive, negative, Q is positive, P is negative, P is positive, and QR is negative, and QPR is positive. So that will be PR. PR, that is PR. Okay. PR and QR. So you will check once again, uh, there is no problem, uh, I think so, you can do that, x into 0 is 0 plus y by 2 into 0, that will be also 0, so answer is 0, so that is the proof, we have to prove this or find the value of this, anyway you can do that. Also let us discuss some more questions and question number 12 is given here, that question number 12, the sum of first m terms 
and n terms. Sum of first n terms and n terms of an AP. AP is m square is to n square ratio of r in ratio. You can write sum of first n terms of AP r in ratio r in ratio m square is to n square prove that so that the ratio of so that the ratio of their mth and nth term their mth and nth term mth and nth term are mth and nth terms are 2m minus 1 is to 2n minus 1. This is your application. So, how to deal with this question? There are no, we have done the same question, a similar question, but not the same. And there were there were two APs. Here only one AP. So, sum of first n terms SM. Let A be the first term and B be the common difference. You can write it as usual. Let A be the first term and d be the common difference d be common difference of a common difference okay so here sum of first n terms and sum of first n terms are given as m square is to n square so we can proceed it like this m by 2 to a plus m minus 1 into d is to divided by n by 2 n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d and that is m square by n square so 2 and 2 can cancel this m can cancel the same times and this n can cancel this n times now 1m and 1n is left this n will multiply this side and what will happen 2a plus let me write some things here. This will look like 2a plus m minus 1 into d, and there will be 2a plus n minus 1 into d, and that is m by n left. Now we can multiply them, cross multiply, so it would be 2a n plus n times of m minus 1 into d is equal to 2am plus m times of n minus 1 into d that is 2am minus 2an this will come this side and here it will be or even you can write 2an minus 2am 2an minus 2am is equal to m n minus m minus this will come this side so it will be mn minus right plus n right now because it is minus n and uh, whole has common d d is common in both d is common in both so here mn and mn cancel that we can take 2a n minus m is equal to here if I will take common m minus m into t. So or we can write n minus m. There is no problem. We can write it like n is positive, m is negative. So we can write it n minus m. There is no problem. So n minus m and n minus m is cancelled since n is not equal to m. It must be given in the question because there are some of two different terms, right? Now. So here 2a is equal to d and a is equal to d by 2. We can write a is equal to d by 2. Putting the value of uh, a or d anywhere, we can use it. Now, mth term, the ratio of uh, mth term of ap, mth term of a and ap upon nth term of an AP, nth term of an AP, 
nth term h what is mth term and nth term mth term and nth term of an equation so a plus n minus 1 into t and that will be a plus n minus 1 into t but d is 2a so this will be a plus m minus 1 into 2a and a plus n minus 1 into 2a since d is 2a so if a will be taken common then it will be 1 plus m minus 1 into 2 upon 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 a can be taken common and it can be cancels out so what is left there that will be um, 1 plus 2m minus 2 and 1 plus 2m minus 2 so that will be 2m minus 1 upon 2m plus 2m minus 1 and this is the required ratio 2m minus 1 this is the required ratio the required ratio which is so I hope you got it. Now let us see question number 13. And this question is question number 13 is given here that how to deal with this question. 13 is if the sum of n terms of an AP, if the sum of n terms of an AP is 3n square. 3n square plus 5n and mth term and mth term is 164. Find the value of m. Find the value of m. Value of m. This is question. So let us write the solution of this question and that can be sum of n terms sn is given 3n square plus 5n so we can calculate tn term sn minus 1 is what therefore sn minus 1 is 3n minus 1 whole square plus 5 times of n minus 1 and we know what we know tn is equal to sn minus sn minus 1 so we will use it and therefore tn is equal to sn is 3n square plus 5n and uh, minus that will be 3 times of n square minus 2n plus 1 and minus this will be 5 times of n minus 1 isn't it so we will write all these things at what will come this is 3n square plus 5n minus 3n square plus 6n minus 3 minus 5n plus 5 3n square 3n square and 5n 5n cancel and what is left then that is 6n 5 minus 3 is 2 6n plus 2 so tn is 6n plus 2 and therefore tm is mth term is also 6m plus 2 that is given 164 is equal to 6m plus 2 and hence 6m plus 2 is therefore 6m is equal to 162 and m is equal to 162 by 6 6 can cancel 6 to be 12 and 6, 7, 42. So, M is 27 and that will be answer of this question. So, I hope you got it. Right now. So, this is all about uh, in this lecture. Uh, we will discuss arithmetic mean in the next class and uh, we will discuss the question related to it, the properties of arithmetic mean also. Till then, keep watching. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much.